Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Jason Yoder and this is where I share with you my passions for travel and photography. We are out here in the Salt River. Our fifth attempt to try to find the Salt River horses, we just found a few. So we're gonna go over, try and do a little photography and see if we can find the rest of the herd. So we've already had the drone up looking for them up by Sararo Lake and didn't have uh, much luck. So we're here at Pebble Beach now where we found a few of them right at the entrance. So these are wild horses that roam this part of the Tonto National Forest. So it's kind of been hit or miss for people to photograph these. We're hoping to get them down by the water. So we're also going to go down there in a little bit. But yep, now we got three of them here. Okay, so right now I've got the drone over these wild horses and something you need to remember as a drone pilot it's the same rule as if you're taking the pictures from the ground if the wildlife starts to react to you or in this case the drone you are way too close you need to back that thing off and uh, let them uh, have their peace and I know from this altitude what you're seeing right now you're not going to be able to get the National Geographic close-up shot you're not going to get that with the drone you've got to do that with a ground-based camera so keep the drone back up in the air and uh, enjoy the view. Okay, so I'm in tripod mode right now so that if I do make any movements with the drone, it's very subtle uh, and the props aren't going to make a lot of noise. What we're going to do is we're going to send it up high. There's three horses here. We're going to see if we can find the rest of the herd nearby. So here we go, switching it out tripod mode and gently taking it up because we're still close to the horses. There we go. All right. Now we're going to be able to look down and see if the rest of the herd is in the area. So we've moved on to the Goldfield parking area now. 
and somebody else has a drone out there so I gotta make sure that we don't interfere with each other's flights so we're gonna look around for a place to take off but also look around for the other operator so we can keep clear of each other all right so we found the other drone pilot and we just kind of coordinated where we're going to fly so we don't run the risk of bumping into each other while we're airborne so i'm going to find where my family disappeared to and they disappeared oh there they are in the bushes all right and uh we'll see if we're going to put one up or not that was my family <laughs> all right we'll go down to the beach oh i see him maybe nope somebody else what is going to be really cool about this next week, Dad is back. We are going to go get lost in the desert, literally, in an upcoming episode, so stay tuned for that one. Now back to the horses. While my wife is trying to get a picture of a great blue herring, I'm going to put the drone back up just to see if any are around. Well, no luck with the horses, but my wife got a great shot of the great blue herring. Added wildlife bonus, there was an orphaned baby javelina roaming our neighborhood when we got home, so we sat outside and babysat the poor little guy until a rescue group was able to come by and pick him up. Look at that, look how tiny he is. Hey little guy. I've never been this close to one. This is weird. Oh baby, you better not get, don't get used to humans. There we go. Say hello guy. It's time to end this episode. Click the subscribe button and follow Dad and I as we discover how easy it is to get lost in the desert.